Hello all and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about digital sentry and motion recording. On our test system here, we did start over fresh, so we're going to go ahead and select new system. If this was an existing system, we want to go ahead and click add remove IP cameras. Now a lot of this you're going to remember from our configuration video. The important part is here, the motion recording. We're going to set it to motion and click next. Now what this does is it sets all cameras that we're going to configure for motion automatically. But to get granular to actually select the settings we want for that camera, we go here in quick setup and we click on the motion tab. Now as you can see we do have several options. In camera motion detection means the camera is going to process it. Server side means the server is responsible for it. Now with server side it is more CPU intensive. On large systems say 100 to 150 cameras we really want to select in camera motion. Now as far as sensitivity goes in our system the lower the sensitivity the more sensitive it is. And you can get that information by hovering over the eye. For motion area that means if we're looking for large objects we need to have a larger motion size. So here we're going to select the defaults and use in camera motion. Then we're going to click next. Now this just basically confirms the settings just like you saw in our configuration video. But let's say we're not starting from a new system. Let's go ahead and head on over to DS control point so we can see what setting motion configuration looks like there. Okay here in DS control point we'll drag and drop over our camera. We'll make it full size here. And then what I want to take note is the blue border. That is an indication that motion recording is working. But let's look at the settings that triggers that motion recording. To do that, right click and then select configure motion. Now when we do that, let's just take a look at the screen here. This is all the settings that records motion. So we've got our motion sensitivity, which again means the lower the number. The more sensitive, we've got our motion area, meaning the larger the number, the larger the objects we're looking at. We have our pre and post recording, and then we have test. This is where you configure it. Now something to keep in mind is configuring motion is typically a two-man operation. What we mean by that is when we make a setting because each scene is different, it could be if you're in a library that the subjects you're looking at are actually trying to be quiet lest they anger the librarian. So there's not going to be a lot of movement and so you're going to have to increase sensitivity to work with that. However, if you're in like a busy school, then that may not be required. As you can see, the hallways will be packed. As you can see, there are radically different settings for different situations. A library where people are generally still and quiet is going to be different from a hallway that is busy and bustling. Now one thing I did not show or talk about, I did click that test motion mask button. What it does is it counts the frames it doesn't see with those settings. If it doesn't see any frames, it goes to the non-motion frame section. If it does, it goes to the motion frame section. This is a critical step to make sure your motion configuration settings are perfect for that scene. Thank you for watching our video. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. And at Pelco, we've got it all covered. Thank you.